Hello, hello everybody. So I'm back after a long time with a new tutorial. So it will be about uh, the Go programming language. So we will start with the basics to the more advanced like topics in Go, uh, building um, HTTP servers, uh, dealing with advanced topics like concurrency and so on. So let's begin. So we go to the official website of Go, which is go.dev. So like Go is a programming language, so it is developed by Google. So in 2007. So and uh, Go, as we can see, it is an open source programming language supported by Google. It's easy to learn and have it and great for teams and it is built built in it support built in concurrency and a robust standard library and they have like large ecosystem of partners communities and tools as we can see here like we have like a very good amount like of companies which are using go like google paypal american express Microsoft, Meta, Cloudflare, and like so on, Twitter. So let's get started. Okay, so as we can see here, the first step is we're going to do is to install Go on our system. So here, as we can see, like Go support uh, multiple platforms, multiple OS, let's say, like Windows, Apple, Linux, and many other OS okay so as we can see here from my from my side so I need to download go okay for Mac OS 11 or later it's like 81 megabyte okay and we go through the installation steps actually go is already installed on my computer on my Mac uh, so like but usually it is a normal process like continue and next 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 until your installation is done and uh, to verify our installation is successful so we will go to the terminal and write go we should get all the utilities and commands for the go uh, programming language okay so let's get started. Uh, so here we have uh, the Go documentation. It's a step-by-step -step tuto tutorial for the Go programming language. So in this video, let's focus on Go basics. Okay, and uh, we will continue in other videos to talk about like advanced topics. Okay, let's click on the documentation. So the first step we did that is installing go okay let's start with the first tutorial which is the getting started okay so in this tutorial uh, we will get like a brief introduction to the go programming along the way we will install go write some simple hello world code and use the go command we will deal how to run our go code and use go package discovery tool to find uh, packages so for this like uh, node for example we have uh, the uh, go package discovery tool which let us use like uh, external libraries developed by for example other uh, developers which they are like open source projects which we can import these modules and use them in our code okay so for the prerequisites like we need some programming experience okay and a tool to edit our your code usually like i'm using uh, visual studio code okay so and uh, usually and there is a, a go extension which we can install on vs code so I already installed it, okay. 
and we will need like a command terminal I'm using the built-in command terminal of macOS okay so the first step we already did to install go okay here uh, we are creating a directory okay let's call it hello go for example and let's go to our directory so okay we need to enable dependency tracking for our code so here when your code imports packages contained in other modules you manage those dependencies through your code's own modules that module is defined by a go.mod file that so the, the go.mod file allow us to track the modules that provide those packages that go.mod file stays within the code including the source code repository okay so to enable dependency tracking for our code by creating go.mod file we run the, com the command go mod init command giving it the name of the module your code will be in the name is the modules module path so for example here like we run this command like go mod init and here we specify our like package name so in actual development the module path will typically be the repository location where our source code our source code will be kept for example the module path might be for example github.com slash my module for example in this case case let's name it like example slash hello so as we can see here after running our command let me browse my project directory okay it is here hello go so as we can see here after running the command go mod init with the package name so we have here a go.mod file created and in this file there is the module name specified and the go version here okay let's go back to the tutorial so the first the fourth step in your text editor just we're going to create a hello.go file and we are going to paste this code this simple code which is output will output to the console hello world message okay so let us create a hello.go file and let's paste our code so as we can see here we specify first our package so package name we import fmt this import is uh, the fmt uh, library is built in inside the go programming language and we specify uh, a function a main function so this function will run by default okay when executing our code so inside the main function we just add this line of code fmt.println hello world okay so let's go back to the documentation so this is our go code in this code so we declare a main package a package it is a way to group the functions and it's made up of all the files in the same directory okay we import the popular fmt package from go which contain functions for formatting text including printing to the console and this package is one of the standard library packages you got when you installed Go. And after that, implement a main function to print a message to the console. A main function executes by default when we run our main package. Okay, so to run our code, we just use this command go run dot. Okay, let's run go run dot okay so as we can see here we have this output in the console hello world okay 
or we can run I think the go run dot it's it will run all the files inside the directory but we don't want that but now we because we have only one file so we can specify better I think the file name go run hello.go and it will run our file okay uh, actually we have here a go help command so it will list for us all the like uh, commands that we can run uh, inside go okay okay the next uh, thing we are going to do in this tutorial is uh, we're going to learn how to call code in an external package okay so when you code when you need sorry your code to do something that might have been implemented by someone else okay you can look for a package that has functions you can use in your code okay so make your printed message a little more interesting with a function from an external module so here the tutorial is telling us to visit a package.go.dev okay so as you can see this is a directory inside go which contain like this for many libraries so and these libraries are developed by someone else like and uh, for example there is a library for calling http request there is library like for dealing with maybe maps something else whatever it is okay so from here like it tell us to search for quote package which is published on the package.go.dev so as you can see here we have like multiple libraries but we need the first one and every package like have a package name for example this one rsc.io slash quote slash here after that we specify the version and as you can see here we can go through the documentation and uh, here we can see a list of functions that we can call from the quote library so like uh, the function a glass it returns a useful phrase for world travelers function go it returns a go proverb opt it returns an optimization truth so and we have like this pretty small library that we can use so let's learn now how can we import it and use it so locate and click the rsc.io code package and this is what I was discussing now so in our go code we need to import the rsc.io slash code package and add a call to its go function we are going to call this go function so let's import it under the fmt import okay so import rsc.io so here it's saying that it's not being used okay let's ignore this error now and in the function main we are calling fmt dot print line quote okay dot go the third step that we are that we will be doing is the that we want to add the new module requirement and sums go will add the quote module as a requirement as well as a go dot sum file that for use in authenticating the module okay we will learn later about authentication of the modules in the go modules reference so for that we will run the go mod tidy command okay so this command as we can see it is fetching for us the rsc.io slash code library and it will create a go.sum file actually that it will contain all the 
like requirements downloaded by the code file so can we be able to use it in our code go code okay and after that let's run the file again go run hello.go and as we can see it print a statement for us that it is included in the quote library we can try for example to call other methods like for example uh, the opt function let's try to call it okay and here let's run the file again so it is like returning any random uh, code for us So as we can see here that notice that our code calls the go function and printing a clever message about communication. So, so when we ran the go tidy, it located and downloaded the rsc.io slash code module that contains the package we imported. And by default, it downloaded the latest version, which is like, for example, in this case, 1.5.2 okay uh, let's here write more code uh, so with this quick introduction we got to know how to install go and how to write some basic code uh, to write some more code with this another tutorial let's go and learn how to create a go module So as you can see, like this is the first part of our tutorial. Okay, let's go now up to here and let's create like a new directory. Okay, and let's name it uh, greetings, same as the tutorial. And let's go to our, sorry, let me create it first. And let's go to that directory. So let's start uh, our own module using the go mod init command. And let's run this command, go mod init example.com slash greetings, for example. Okay, and it creates a module for us so as we can see here we have the go.mod file generated it contains the module package name and the go version so after that the go mod uh, command creates a go mod file as we discussed in the previous uh, tutorial uh, so here let's paste uh, let's create a greetings.go file and paste this code okay so as we can see here uh, we call this package greetings as this name okay and we import uh, the fmt from go uh, and here we define a function hello it takes a parameter name of type string and this function will return a string so this is usually in go like uh, this is the way how to define a function and this is the way how to define a parameter inside it you know like uh, usually in the programming in other, in other sorry programming language like JavaScript we define the type first then the variable name but here in go so we are defining the variable name first then the type which is string and here the return type of the function will be a string so here we are defining a new variable called message and for this message we are assigning fmt.sf 
print f high and here the percentage v which will output the name and welcome okay so the sf print function it formats according to the format specifier and returns the resulting string so here this is the first code for our module it returns a greeting to any caller that asks for one you will write uh, that co calls um, this function in the next step so in our code we declare a greetings uh, package to collect related function and we implemented a hello function that return a greeting okay so as we can see here we have here the function name we have here the parameter type and we have here the return type and declare a message variable to hold your greeting and go the two point equal operator as a shortcut of for declaring and initializing a variable in one line so go uses the value on the right to determine the variables type taking the long way you might have written this as well we can declare like var message string and on the next line we write message equal fmt.s print f hi welcome and the name variable the name parameter so instead of doing this we can use this operator so for declaring and initializing directly the variable in one single line then we are using the fmt package s printf function to create a greeting message the first argument is a format string and sf s printf substitutes the name parameters value for the percentage v format verb inserting the value of the name parameter completes the greeting text so in the next step we will call this function from another module let's go to the next uh, step okay so as we can see here um, create a hello directory so in this uh, in the previous section we created the greetings uh, module so in this section we will write a code to make calls to the hello function in the module we just wrote so we will write code that we can execute as an application and which calls code in the greetings module so we will be creating a hello directory for uh, your go module source code this is where we will write your our color okay so after you create this directory you should have both a hello and a greetings directory at the same level in the hierarchy okay uh, so let's create um, hello package okay and let's run the go mod init command while specifying the package name so and uh, we will create a go hello.go file and paste inside it uh, this code okay so in this piece of code we are specifying the package name we are importing the fmt library from go and in the second line we are importing the greetings library by calling the example.com slash greetings call and we are here calling function our main function and we are assigning a message creating and assigning creating and initializing a variable called message 
and we are assigning to it the greetings from greetings we are calling the hello method as we can see and we are passing as a parameter Gladys okay and after we are printing on the next line fmt.println the message uh, so for now we have an error it's not recognizing our greetings package let's go to the uh, tutorial so in this code we are declaring a main package okay we are importing two packages the example.com slash greetings and the fmt package importing example.com slash greetings can give us access to the hello function and we are also importing fmt with functions for handling input and output text get a greeting by calling the greetings packages package hello function okay so now in the in this step we are going to edit the example.com slash hello module to use uh, our local example.com slash greetings module so for production use we will publish the example.com slash greetings module from its repository with a module path that reflected its published location where go tools uh, could find it and download it but for now because we haven't published the module yet we need to adapt the example.com slash hello module so it can find the example.com slash greetings code uh, on, our, on your local file system so to do that we use the go mod edit command to edit the example.com slash hello module to redirect go tools from its module path where the module isn't uh, to the local directory so from the command prompt in the hello directory we are going to run this command go mod edit replace example.com slash greetings by dot dot slash greetings so we are going to run this command to let go be able to uh, discover this package okay let's run it so the command specifies the example.com slash greetings should be replaced by dot dot slash greetings for the purpose of locating the dependency after you run the command the go.mod file in the hello directory should include a replace directive so in the hello okay let's run the the second step we will run the go mod tidy command so for this command uh, from the command prompt run the go mod tidy command to synchronize the example.com slash hello module dependencies adding those required by the code but not yet tracked in the module so let's run it So I think now we are good to go. So after the command completes, uh, the example.com slash hello modules go.mod file should look like this. And it's really like looking something similar to this. So the command found uh, the local code in the greetings directory, then added a require directive to specify that that example.com slash hello requires example.com slash greetings you created this dependency when you imported the greetings package in hello.go uh, the number uh, following the module path is an pseudo version number which is a generated number used in a place uh, of a semantic version number which the module doesn't have yet so to reference a published module a go mod uh, file would typically omit the replace directive 
and use a required directive with a tagged version number at the end so as we can see here for now we are using the replace uh, command and uh, specifying the direct the local directory of the greetings package to use it because uh, it's not yet published but for the purpose for the purpose of using it what we actually should do is we should publish our package on the package.go.dev uh, website okay so and uh, we will specify a uh, package name like for example example.com slash greetings which we will uh, specify in our go.mod file and use it okay so let us run now our code go run dot and as we can see here our code run successfully and the hello package uh, we are a from the hello package we are able to run the code from the greetings package by calling the hello function So after uh, this lesson, we learn like many things about how to install Go and how we can create uh, modules in Go. Uh, we learn too how we can call a code from one module and call it, how to use one code in one module and call it in another module. And we have learned like uh, the different uh, Go commands like the go mod init command which will create uh, a module for us and it will create the go.mod file which is the initial uh, file and inside the file we have the uh, package name and a go version and uh, we learn how to uh, call one module and another module but we learn uh, it uh, we learn how to call a uh, package which is published on the uh, go packages directory and we learn how to call a local uh, package and uh, use it in other another uh, package uh, so I think uh, this is enough uh, for this tutorial to not make it uh, too much long uh, So let's see what we have So in the next uh, tutorial we will learn like more and more advanced uh, It's not like advanced we will learn more about the go basics and intermediate to advanced uh, topics in go Okay, so this is for today and see you on the upcoming lectures. Bye-bye.